Hi everyone. So a very very warm welcome on the Dams Delhi YouTube channel and today I've come with a reason to tell you something on how to revise and especially close to the exams you know when when we feel that there is too much to do and how can we still keep it high yielding how can we still keep uh doing mcq practice along with theory revision so you know uh we at dams have a special course on the e-medicos app as you can see here which is called as integrated mcq discussion series now what are the key features of this integrated mcq discussion series that it gives a two teacher perspective so what we have done is we have taken an mcq which is going to have elements of different subjects for example it may look like a surgery mcq but it may come down to asking you something from anatomy similarly it may be a you know radiology image but it may be asking you something about obstetric uh, you know performance so we have selected such mcqs which have more than one subject integration yes and you would agree with me that this is the current pattern of the neat pg exams and this is also the proposed pattern for the next exam yes so you know your basic sciences the first and second year subjects would be asked in an integrated manner with the clinical subjects so this is the entire purpose of this special special course on e medicos app it is available under the short courses section right so now what are the benefits of doing this kind of preparation now so this is an ideal course for anyone who feels you know uh, uh, you know perplexed on how to revise how to do high yielding things how do i maintain a balance between mcq and theory am i covering the pyqs so you know this is a one stop solution why do i say that number one the mcqs that we have taken we have specially taken them from the pyq series so to ensure that it remains super high yielding for the upcoming exams yes second point it will help you in revising more than one subject at one go so you have video discussions available which you can see at your ease any time any number of times so this is what the panel would look like so there is uh, you know a topic on breast cancer so you will see it's not just surgery part of it we will be covering different aspects specially giving you two teacher perspective on what we can ask you from these commonly asked topics right for example you know we can discuss about clinical anatomy and surgical anatomy yes so uh, this is the entire purpose for example you know you can see here there is a approach to cardiac uh, disease and that to particularly chest pain where we have not uh, just discussed medicine but it would be based on an mcq so we will start with an mcq we will cover the medicinal aspects of it we'll cover the pharma aspect of it so you will be revising pharmacology in a way in which it is asked in the exams right because believe me at this time going from the first page of your pharma notes to the last page is very very tedious and actually not possible for all 19 subjects so all your bachas have to do is focus on revising topics which have high probability please don't think pyq is question and answer no 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 that's not how pyq is asked it's basically topic intensive so those topics have to be done nicely from let's say pharma also from anatomy also from surgery also and we would ask in an integrated manner similarly i am sure you remember that neat pg has been every year asking some questions on mullerian anomalies and different aspects of it so me and dr sumeer did an integrated session where we have covered not only the obstetric or the gynae presentation but the radiological aspects as well so everything at one place so it will be actually multiple mcq discussion in this series believe me this is going to be super helpful for you to revise in a retrograde manner in a short crisp yet high yielding manner where you are covering mcqs right not just mcqs you are covering pyqs you are covering theory which is related to those pyqs so believe me this will be uh, a very very crucial thing in your preparation in the coming month and in order to help all the students this course has specially made been made free for one month so all of you who are appearing for the neat pg exam 
you all have free access to this course on eMedico's app for one month, right? So get used to it. Do it this way and believe me, you will tell us in the end that this was super helpful for your revision. Even the chota bachas. So if you're in the first and the second year and the third year and you're wondering what next PG exam would be like, what do they mean when they are going to say that they will ask basic sciences integrated with clinical subjects? This is it. This is what it is going to be. This is how it has to be. Okay, so at your level also, so even Chota Bachas can go through these videos and they can learn the art of integration, the approach to MCQs, how to revise in a system-wise manner and that to actually a symptom-based approach more than system-wise manner. Yes, also to tell you, these integrated MCQ discussion li series uh, actually was running live. So now you have all the video access. You can see any video at your own ease any time, any number of times, yes? And after March, which is after the NEET PG exam particularly, we will again start a fresh new live series again in the integrated MCQ discussions, which are held at night 9 p.m. every Tuesday. So they, the sessions come live uh, at 9 p.m. every Tuesday and every time we have new things to discuss and it keeps getting added to the video library of the same course. So you have access to the video library of previously held videos and new integrated MCQ sessions would start coming after the NEET PG exam. So till then, enjoy this access for one month we really hope that it helps you in your revision, in a retrograde revision, which has to be high yielding, which has to be crisp, and it has to be based on a format which is asked in the exams. So here's wishing you all the very best. Be enthusiastic, be eager to learn, and be, you know, excited about the exam because, you know, it is going to take you to your next phase. Have a lot of optimism, have a lot of self-faith, and have faith in the process. Wishing you all the very best from DAMS. God bless you all.